All right, guys, what is going on? I'm feeling like a little bit more of a uh, human being now. The hair's still there, but that's all right. So this morning, guys, I've, uh, I've had breakfast. I've had a shake. It was 100 grams of oats, um, a cup of egg whites, and one scoop of protein powder, and about 200 grams of mixed berries. So feeling good. I've got a black coffee, which is how I drink my coffee now. I am about to crack into some editing. I've got about three hours worth to do, which I know. Uh, I just want to go to the gym, to be honest. I might, I might cut it short. I might go to the gym early. But anyways, I will show you guys this new gym that I'm going to now, which is Outback Gym and Fitness. It is, it is, uh, it's the most hardcore sort of lifting weightlifting sort of gym in Alice Springs. It's got, you know, it's, it's, it's fucking cool. It's got like four squat racks. It's got, you know, a shitload of leg machines. It's got a proper deadlift platform, um, which I've already used and my back is fucking killing me right now. <laughs> That's the thing, man. Deadlifts. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to continue doing them. They just fuck me up too much. They really do. Like for four or five days. I go so hard on deadlifts, man. I take deadlifts. I take heavy deadlifts to failure. And you're going to be fucked up for days after that, but that's the way I train them, and I want to get the most out of the movement, so anyways, I'll show you guys that. This morning I've got my, my laptop upstairs to do the editing because I want to stand at my desk. Shitload of sitting down recently at work, at home, um, you know, I'm spending over, my fu over half my fucking day um, sitting down, and I'm tending to get a little bit of a sore lower back, especially <clears throat> Especially after deadlifts. I brought my computer upstairs. I'm going to stand here and do the editing. When I was cashed up last year, before I moved in here, I wanted a mechanical desk. I saw Matt Ogus in a vlog. He had a mechanical desk with a little switch that could go up and down. So he could either sit or stand. And that's exactly what I bought, guys. I'm not going to tell you exactly how much it cost. Because it's the biggest size. It's like two meters long and like fucking, I don't know, a meter back. But with that being said, guys, um, <laughs> let's act like I'm sitting down, okay? <laughs> so yeah, you just got a little switch, and up and down, and it's all electronic, and it's fucking sick. So I have it at its highest. I have it at its highest setting, which is probably it's up to about my belly button. So it's perfect, perfect for editing. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to drink this. I've got a lovely day here in Alice Springs. I'm feeling really good. I've got a day off work. I'm going to get this shit done, and then I'm going to go to the gym, get some gains. I'm going to go to the supermarket, get some more gains. And I'll take you guys along for the ride. So, let's do it. Alright guys, I have had the most frustrating fucking morning of my life. Of my editing life, anyway. <sighs> Alright guys. Yeah, that really, that really sums up my fucking morning, I'm telling you. I have had the worst luck with this motherfucking editing. My computer's really slow, right? I'll give you a bit of a bit of a story here, a bit of a rant. My computer's really slow, and not only does it take shitloads of time to actually edit the video up, once you're ready to save it, it takes like half an hour for it to render. So rendering is basically producing the video. So <laughs> I waited half an hour. Not only that, but it takes up so much, I've got so much fucking shit on here, like videos and that, that I can't bring myself to delete because I think I might need that footage in the future, you know, but I'm going to have to delete it or at least put it on a freaking uh, hard drive or something. But regardless of that, um, while it's rendering a video, I pretty much can't use any other software or anything because it just goes too slow. So half an hour later, I realize I fucked up the intro. Had to redo it, wait another half an hour, and then I realized I fucked up the sound. So now I've just saved it again, and I'm waiting another half an hour. 
Um, so I thought I'd turn on the camera because I've just been frustrated as fuck. Editing, man. Editing. Editing really fucks you off, doesn't it? And like I said, I, I'm not even really liking the interface of this new software either. So it's just not going too well, guys. It's not going too well. So if this one doesn't work, I don't know. <laughs> I might just fucking go to the gym and just leave it because it's really annoying me right now. All right, guys, I'm, I'm bringing out the white flag. I'm surrendering for now. We've got one uploading. We've got one being rendered at about 6%. I ain't fucking waiting around anymore. I'm going to go get a pre-workout drink and go to the gym. <laughs> I've had enough. We're nearly ready. We're fucking nearly there. Let's get that tap out of the way. Um, gym get up for today is... Can't forget the fucking hat now can we so I've been wearing this BSN hat lately which is actually too small for my head <laughs> but I do like it and it's actually it works for me because I'm wearing my glasses in the gym at the moment and I can tuck them up underneath the hat because these ones are really loose and they fucking fall off all the time so anyways let's do that so we got the hat we got the optimum nutrition t-shirts which is about two sizes too small for me but it's okay, because we are training some arms today, and uh, it shows off. It shows off whatever. It shows off what gains I do have. So, anyways, uh, shorts. What do we got? We got some grey Adidas trap shorts, which look like they cost fifty bucks, but they cost me four dollars from Thailand. So you can't fucking go wrong, can you? And we got tights. And if I can show you, we got my KDs which I love. So with that being said guys, fuck I say with that being said a lot, don't I? I really need to stop that. I don't know where I, I don't even know where I got it from. Before I started this series, I'd like never said it once and now I say it about 10 times a day. So I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, pre-workout of choice, Nescafe. We're going to make one up, scull it back and then we'll be off to the gym to smash some pipes, which is always a good day. So I'll see you there. All right guys, we are here at the gym, about to go inside, putting on my straps. I use straps for every single biceps workout, every single back workout, fucking, you know, anything that you have to pull or, you know, curls, well, there's probably four movements. It's it's any bicep movement, it's any row movement, it's any pull down movement, and it's any shrug movement. So it's really anything that you're pulling. You know, either which way. There's so many angles. Um, straps are a necessity. They really are. I, I don't give a fuck about forearm strength. You know, I've got good forearms. You tra train train hammer curls, and you're gonna hit your forearms. You're gonna you're gonna develop them. So yeah, straps are definitely number one for me. Once I get a pump, I'm going to put on this shit, which is my old Outback Gym and Fitness singlet, which I got when this gym opened about two and a half years ago, but the gym's come a long way since then. Um, it's fucking epic now, and I can't wait to get in there, because they've got a tricep dip machine, a plate-loaded tricep dip machine, which is fucking sick. I have never, I've never been in a gym, I've never trained consistently in a gym with anywhere that has a tricep dip machine. And this one has it and I can't wait to smash it, that's my first exercise. We're going one tricep movement, one bicep movement, tricep, bicep, tricep, bicep, three of each, five working sets per exercise, 30 sets total and I'll see you guys for a post-workout chat when I'm done. Shabam. All right. Oh, I can hardly bend my arm. One arms workout in the books, God damn it. Set this shit up. Fuck. Set this belt on. So throughout the entire workout, I used 
uh, straps and a belt. As I said, I use straps for pretty much everything, um, except for like pushing movements. And a belt, I'm, I'm using more and more. It makes me feel comfortable, keeps my lower back nice and tight, keeps my core nice and tight. And, you know, why wouldn't you? I mean, the only reason why you wouldn't is because you don't want to look like a, a dick in the gym. Well, I don't think you look like a dick if you wear a belt. So, that's what happened. Um, the arms workout was, was pretty epic. That The machine that I was talking about, I went straight over to when I got there, loaded it up. I was actually really surprised with how much weight I could put on it, to be honest. I put, I just, I went up, you know, one plate, two plates, three plates, and then I put another 15 on, so that's 75 kilo on each side um, for sets of 15. It's pretty fucking good. I was happy with that. So after that, we went to a bicep curl, um, preacher curl. The preacher curl here is really nice. Like, it's, it's, it's your classic old school, you know, the cables, um, it flows really nicely through the pulley and it feels amazing. So that was the second movement. From there we went to some uh, bicep curls with dumbbells, uh, hammer curls. I did probably seven or eight sets on that. And the final exercise was the second tricep exercise which was uh, some push downs with two uh, attachments supersetted with some close grip push ups. So the pump was to be saluted, it's still to be saluted. And now we're going to go to the supermarket and pick up some food uh, to make some meal prep for the coming weeks or coming days. So, with that being said, did I just say with that being said again? I'm sorry, guys. Anyways, I'll see you when I get home with the food. neighbors don't hear me. We are back and my shirt's tucked in. <laughs> I don't know why that is. Um, right, so like I said in the previous clip, um, I need some protein sources. Well, I don't know if I did say that, but regardless, the way I've been making... How many times, honestly, honestly, how many times is that going to fucking happen? I hope the contrast is all right. I don't know. Anyways, the way that I've been making sure I have enough protein, an adequate amount, throughout the day, every single day, on tap, so I can take it to work, I can take it wherever I need it, is to buy the protein in bulk. So I've been buying chicken breast, kangaroo meat, um, turkey, I've been buying lean beef mints, um, any type of lean protein source. I've been cooking it up in bulk and putting it into Tupperware containers. It's, it's different for every kind of meat. It's around about 750 grams worth in each portion and that equals around about 180 grams of protein. So if I've got those in the freezer and in the fridge, when I go to work in the morning, I know I'm going to be away for you know 10 to 12 hours. I can just grab one, take it with me, worry about the carbs later, or I can grab carbs and take it with me as well. But the protein is definitely the hardest thing to get on the run. And so this is how I've been doing it. So that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, I've bought a lot of protein. I'll show you what I've got. Well, that's, well, actually, well, that's not protein, is it? But <laughs> don't go to the supermarket when you're hungry, guys. I'm fucking starving, and so I bought some snack food as well. But as far as protein goes, we've got lean beef mints. So I think I've got two of those. Yep. So a kg of lean uh, beef mints. We've got kangaroo burgers, kangaroo burger patties. I've got two containers of those. So that's about 900 grams of kangaroo. We've got one kg exactly of chicken breast. We've got... We've got two packets of kangaroo meatballs, which are slightly higher in carb because they have like a tomato sort of thing mixed through them, but they're really, really low in fat, um, extremely lean. So we've got 900 grams of those as well. So 
So as far as carbs go, uh, I've picked up some more staples, you know, staples that I've been using recently. We've got brown rice. Um, we've got white rice in flavoured form. So I enjoy that as well. We've got oats, which is an absolute staple of my diet, like I've said before. And um, I'm going with almond and coconut milk at the moment to mix with my oats, uh, mix with my shakes and cereals and things like that. I have been having almond milk, but I do like coconut, so we're going to go with almond coconut milk and each serve one cup, 1.3 protein, 3.8 fat, and 6.8 carb. So it's not actually the best as far as macros go, but you do need some fat in your diet. And um, yeah, it tastes good. So <laughs> the rest of the stuff is just fucking junk food. Muesli bars of all sorts. I do go for the low fat ones. So these ones are 2.2 protein, 2.9 fat, 19 carb. And these ones, chocolate, chocolate, Chewy, milk chocolate chewy bars from Coles. They look good. 2.1 protein, 2.5 fat, 21.1 carb. And we've got some cookies. So when I was cutting, I went for these sugar-free cookies. Now, they're more expensive than your, your normal cookies, but I don't know, while I was cutting, I wanted to go low sugar for a few days, and I got these, and I, fought, I fell in love with them. And now, even though I'm in a surplus, I'm still buying them. So we've got those. Each serve 1.7 protein, 6.9 fat, 18 carb, and then these I just could not fucking go past. I've seen them every time I've gone to the supermarket for the last like three times, and I want them, and they're cheap. So, with that being said, each one has 1.3 protein, 6.1 fat, 13.6 carb. So these things, you know, I'll eat throughout the day, you know, I'll pick at them. There's no way I'm going to smash a whole packet in a sitting. I have done that in the past, but I just I can't bring myself to do that at the moment. I'm really, really concentrating on keeping the fat low, the carbs and protein high, and that's how I'm structuring my diet at the moment. So, yeah, that's it. I'll show you guys what I have post-workout, and then I'll be cooking up the meat and putting it in the Tupperware containers, and I will show you guys that as well. But, uh, yeah, I'd better get on to it. You only got 24 hours in a day, guys. Got to make most of it, right? Yeah, that's it. All right, everybody, meal prep is done. We've pretty much got a cage, well, two kgs of uh, kangaroo and one kg of chicken breast. So each container is around about 500 grams. With the kangaroo, I pretty much just spray the pan, chuck it in there, fry it both sides, making sure it's cooked through. Um, it can take a while to cook through. And then basically that's it. I put a little bit of Moroccan seasoning on it with the meatballs. That was pretty much the same thing. I do tend to squash them down so they cook a bit faster. Um, but yeah, apart from that, Moroccan seasoning once again. And the chicken breast, I just cut up into... Basically, I just cut the breast down the middle to make pretty much the exact same size piece, but just half as thick. So that's exactly what we did. And once again, a little bit of oil and some Moroccan seasoning. I like to actually like charcoal the... Moroccan seasoning on the on the bottom so I'll cook it on one side I'll use uh, I'll put a little bit of oil on the other side that's up um, put the Moroccan seasoning on there and then turn it over and leave it you know for a good few minutes to really um, caramelize and crystallize and then and then it looks like this that's got that's got no skin on it guys that's just straight chicken breast so that's pretty good I'm gonna put the lids on put them in the freezer and the fridge and that is done for six days guys but yeah I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys my face once again and I'm going to sign out this has been episode number I have no idea on day number 23 and it's been a fantastic day we've hit arms we've done meal prep um, I've done a couple of loads of washing I've done some editing that is exactly what I want to do on my days off. I want to make the most of them. I don't want to fucking waste it because I don't get many. So with that said, for the last time, have a great day, guys. I'm going to eat some of this. I'm going to have some oats. I'm going to have some wheat bix I may even go to the gym again tonight. 
who knows? Who knows? I'm not really doing anything today. Today is just a, a day to get get things in order, get everything back on track to smash another five or six days work in a row. So I'll see you guys in the next episode, whenever that is. Peace. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Oh.